Do you get frustrated trying to listen to HF and it's really kind of too noisy or there's that voice underneath the static that you really can't hear? Is that frustrating? Well, I'm going to show you one way you can get around it and it's coming up. Hey guys, this is Jason KC5HWB uh, with Ham Radio 2.0, which is where I do reviews of radios and tell you about new items in amateur radio. So if that's something you're interested in, please uh, consider subscribing below and smash that like button if this is a video that uh, you get benefit from. So today, I am very happy that um, the great folks over at RNL Electronics allowed me to review this Heil Pross, what they call a Pross system. This guy right here. Parametric Receive Audio System and Powered Speaker. Now, you can still purchase the, uh, the system with the equalizer and the powered speaker and one, but... Um, I'm told that's going away. Uh, it's going to be, eventually, it's going to be only available um, by itself and the speaker, the speaker by itself and the, the equalizer by itself. This is currently in stock, of course, uh, and free shipping on this from RNL Electronics, but um, they're going to stop selling it as a kit before too long. So I just recently learned. But I've got both pieces here today, um, whether you use the equalizer by itself or you opt to get both of them. Um, it's your choice at this point in time. So I'll get a quick uh, zoom in shot here. This is the uh, manual that comes with the system. And it got a really good diagram here about how to hook everything up. Powered speaker with a 5-inch driver. And this is these are the cables that come with it. This is the power cable. Standard uh, port for the uh, computer right there. Computer power cable. Like most monitors or computers are powered, or desktop computers are powered with. That goes into the back of the speaker. Comes with an XLR. Um, this little doodad here. And then this uh, quarter inch to, it's actually got an adapter. It's a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter with a adapter to take it to quarter inch. So all that comes there. It also comes with this neat notice here that says, the system has been tested and pre-configured for our recommended starting settings. It should look like the graphic blow, which is really cool. In case one of the knobs gets bumped, you can see what it should look like. Everything should be set to 12 o'clock, except for the mid-frequency, which should be set to 2.5 kilohertz, which is right there. So we're going to look at that, which of course is right here. So, yeah, that got turned a little bit. Uh, that's about it right there. That's that. Here's the back of it. And this is the powered speaker, of course. That's as far out as I can get. So let me change views on this camera here. I'll zoom way back out on that. And you can see I've got my <laughs> I've got a green screen on the table here because this uh I didn't like the way that it looked with the um, gray table underneath it. So anyway, so this is the powered speaker, which has a wall mount thing here. And then you got these connectors in the back, which of course is, comes with, which is the back of this uh, equalizer part as well. So you've got that together. 
piece of plastic. And then we've got the connectors here. And I've got my trusty Flex Maestro with me today that I'm going to use to plug that up and we're going to see what the difference in sound is between this here and having this plugged in. Now the cool thing about the Flex Maestro, something I mentioned in an earlier video uh, about Flex Radio, is the Flex Maestro um, has a port on the back of it that says powered speaker. I haven't tried to plug up a regular speaker to it yet. If you can hear this, I don't know if you can hear it or not, it's not turned up very loud right now. There's a built-in speaker to the, to the Maestro and there's a port in the back. It's a 3.5 millimeter port, like a regular speaker port like this. Um, and it says PWR speaker, power speaker. So I've never tried it without a powered speaker. So today we're gonna get to try it with the powered speaker. So let's hook all this up and see what it looks like. Okay, first and foremost, zoom that in a touch. So I've got the, the, the flex you can see hooked up here, which is the powered speaker port in the back of the Maestro. And then it's going in, there's, there's an XLR in, and there's also a 3.5 millimeter jack in port on this, which is, that's where that's plugged in. It's a green uh, circular port, like on the back of a computer for computer speakers. So the, the 3.5 millimeter cable to 3.5 millimeter cable with the quarter inch adapter taken off of it is uh, what's currently connected to that. And I'm going to switch over to this view right here. Okay, I'll turn the microphone on. And we see Now if I turn the There we go. Turn around here. This is not the equalizer. This is just the powered speaker. I cannot tell he's in there. Oh boy. That's that dude is loud. I'm here in zero DBX. He's skipping right over me. We got nothing between us. Yeah, you're apparently uh, skipping over him, John, but uh, you're much better copy than you were last year. Okay, little green screen manipulation there, and... Yeah, okay, well, I've gone by Rocky Top, Al. Okay, mute that real quick. So you can see this guy's really loud, and, uh, and it's coming in through this speaker here. Now, what I don't like about it is this speaker here in the Maestro is not muted when you plug an external speaker into it. So you can still hear... Yeah, it's always I, I didn't remember it being that loud. This here. So now I've turned down the powered speaker completely, this guy right here, completely, and it's just coming out of this speaker. So that's just, I mean, I'm doing a... Okay, well, sounds like your day is about done, and my wife just got home. Can't can't hear the guy he's talking to but uh but you can hear you can hear him really well he's coming in you can see the pan adapter there he's coming in with a red and um orange signal there if you can if that's coming hopefully that's coming through the camera okay yeah that's good so So you can certainly hear better out of the powered speaker. So this is a good test for the Heil um, powered speaker uh, that is uh, 
currently, I don't want to tell you the wrong model, uh, Heil HPS5 is the model of speaker that comes in this kit that I have right now. And again, the kit may not be available for much longer. However, the speaker itself is available and the equalizer is available. So let's hook up the equalizer and then look and see what the difference in sound is with that. Let me mute that for a second. I've got, um, you can probably still hear it a little bit in this microphone. So I got a call yesterday. I'm reviewing this uh, PRO system, the Parametric Receive Audio System from uh, Heil, Heil Electronics um, at the request of RNL Electronics, who sells this product. Showed you the, the link on that earlier. Yesterday, I get a call directly from Bob Heil, and he said, Hey, I, I hear you're doing a review video. And I said, Yes, sir. And he said, Well, let me tell you a few things. Okay. So he gave me some settings for this, uh, this guy right here for the equalizer that you can see over here in the, in the left side of the screen right now. And he said, set it here, set it here, set it here, and don't do this because this is what some people do. And he said there was some, he said there was some reviews out there that were inaccurate. He didn't tell me which ones they were. So he's not trying to call anyone out, and neither am I. I don't really, I haven't really looked at anything. But regardless of that, regardless of that, here is what, these are the settings he told me to set, which is, Oh, wow. These are the settings he told me to set, which is uh, where you see the high and the low. Let me get a pen so I'm not pointing at it. About 1 o'clock each. The output level is just the level that it's pumping to your speaker. So as far as the, as far as the actual device, that doesn't, I, I, don't, I don't believe that matters. But the gain is at about 3 o'clock. And then you play with this knob between like, he said, between like 2 and 4, 3 and 5, something like that. So I'm, I'm kind of spinning it between like 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock like that. So we're going to go try to find a weak signal here. Still too far down in the noise to hear. I can hear them talking, I just can't tell what they're saying. somebody down in the noise. See, I was able to pull that out. I hope I hope it's coming through on, on the video feed. But you can see there's not much of a signal there. Just right here is where the band scope is. Oops. Sorry. And the band's fluctuating a bit too, so you can see the band scope kind of light up a little bit more when his signal gets stronger. 
the waterfall. I should say the waterfall. You can see the the um, pan adapter waterfall, whatever you want to call it. The waterfall light up a little bit better when his signal gets stronger. Yeah. And uh, but if I didn't have this on right now, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be able to pull him out of there if I didn't have this on right now. I've turned the, the equalizer completely down. And I can hear him still, but it's more difficult to hear what he's saying there. One, two, three. I think I turned it. Yeah, so you have to kind of play with the adjustment on the audio. But you got your level meter on the on the uh, on the EQ right here. It's got an overload button. So. So the good thing about it is that you know if, if you if you run across a really strong signal it'll, it'll it'll show you it'll light up and overload. It did it just then when he get when the band came up. I don't know if you saw that or not. I think it was out of the camera. Yes, it does. It's reasonably quiet out here this afternoon. That dude is loud. Right. We are running an uh, ACOM 1000 amplifier and an ICOM 9100 uh, driving the amp with about 60 watts. There we so go. We're <laughs> okay, so that is, <laughs> that's a pretty darn good, uh, um, It's a pretty darn, darn good test, if, if you ask me. Um, let's mute this. Let's mute that whole thing. Kill that. Okay. So, it seems like, and I don't, I, I, think, I, I think I mentioned earlier, but I don't remember right now. Um, let me switch back over here to this. Nope. This one here. Okay, so right here, is a red, a, a, there's a red circle around this eighth inch jack that says REC 1 eighth. You see that right there? That's directly, according to Bob Heil, that's, that's made to come out of, that's made for a recording device to come out of the EQ into a mixer, into a camcorder, whatever, camera, whatever, some kind of audio recording device. I mean, you could do it as, as a, like a digital audio recorder, I, I guess. You could do it that way. So that is, that's made to be direct a direct feed for recording audio and then uh these t there's two um i keep switching it don't i uh there's two this one and that one there's two mic jacks right here so that you can have an operator and and a spotter or a logger someone logging for you listening at the same time and then you can, and then they sell an accessory that goes in one of these mic jacks. That's a left and right splitter, so that, and then it has independent adjustments in the left and right splitter. So you can turn the no, the 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 audio level up and down on either the left or the right side, so that for some folks who hear better in one ear, you can adjust it more so it sounds more level on either side than uh, than what it would coming directly out of the radio. So. It, there's a lot of extra stuff in this that I have not covered, obviously. So, so here's the good news. Okay, at the time of this recording, when I'm I'm, I'm putting, I've been working on this video for a couple of weeks now, off and on, testing. I, I wanted to test it before I took it out of the box and or before I put it on camera. I took it out of the box and tested it before I put it on the camera. Um, so here's the good news. Um, at the time of this recording, we're actually about to to leave the country uh, for another de expedition to Costa Rica which I've done, I did in 2015, I did in 2016. 
I haven't been back since 2016. Um, and I'm really looking, I'm very much looking forward to getting back into that because that was a fun, that was a fun trip, those, those two trips. And I've got a lot more equipment now than I used to. I'm going to take my flex. I'm going to take this, I'm going to pack this, this, this system up, this pro system here and take it with me. And I told Bob Heil that, and he's like, yes, do that. <laughs> so <laughs> nice dude, really nice dude. So, Hey, who has this? What do you think about it? What, what radio do you use it with? Okay. Maybe the Flex Maestro is not the best radio to be using it with. Um, maybe something like an ICOM IC706 Mark II or an IC7000 or an FT857. Something that just doesn't have the, the filtering in it quite that the, that the newer SDR radios have. Something that's a little bit more open when you're listening to it. There's a lot more noise that it draws in. Um, because the filtering's not there. I mean, not, I mean, you can add filters to the IC7000, obviously, but stock filtering is not there. So what, who's tried this on different radios? What radio have you tried it on? What, uh, how, what do you think? Is it worth the investment? Is it worth the investment for, you know, you've got the equalizer and you've got the, the speaker sold in the kit right now, like I said earlier, but you can buy them individually. And, um, is it worth, uh, having the powered speaker along with the EQ? That would be my question. Um, this is really cool. You know, I thought this would be something that I would review. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll review it, and then I'll, I might sell it or give it or do a giveaway or something. Now, this, is, this thing is cool. I'm going to keep this, especially for de-expedition to Costa Rica, man. Um, I think it'd be great for a uh, Parks on the Air situation. I'm going to start doing some Parks on the Air stuff, too. So, 73, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you next time.